The spread of the COVID-19 variants remain a major concern. In Mississauga, it has prompted Peel Public Health to conduct testing at a condo where there is an outbreak. CTV Sean Lethong is live with more. Sean. Well, Zoraida, the cluster that came up was a cluster of the South African variant, and because there isn't any community transmission just as of yet, they wanted to stop this right in its tracks. A cluster of the B1351 variant of concern has led Peel Public Health to this 36-story condo. They have detected a total of eight cases, and five of them are of the variant of concern that originated in South Africa. And they aren't taking any chances. Today, voluntary COVID testing was being offered to anyone who lives or works at 385 Prince of Wales Drive in Mississauga. Residents were notified yesterday that Ontario Public Health planned to visit every one of the over 400 units. We're trying to really determine how this cluster came to be. Each of the cases was initially detected two weeks ago, but it wasn't until last Friday that positive results came back for the variant, and the five cases appear to be loosely connected by sharing common elements in the building. Talking corridors, elevators, um, which would mean that uh, the transmission might have occurred on a much quicker uh, time frame. Uh, than traditionally has been seen with close contact transmission. Linda McKinley says when word of the positive cases came, the building changed. It's very quiet inside. You don't see anyone, you know, if you, if you walked in there, even the concierge says the first day that this happened, all the plastic protection went up. She says for the most part, people have been respectful, but... There have been a couple of people that haven't had their mask on. I, I've noticed that, but overall it's been very good while others are expressing more concern. Because as a resident of this building, one thing that has been very concerning to me is the fact that um, despite this building having a mask rule, despite this building having rules such as three people per elevator, these rules aren't enforced. He says it's common for elevators to be crowded and people to enter the building unmasked. Other residents are just hopeful that these cases are isolated. It's concerning because I got kids, right? So just want the best thing for them. In a statement, the property management company said on Saturday, February 13th, the management office was contacted by the region of Peel regarding a variant of concern within our community. Since then, the management team has been pleased to assist Peel Public Health with their investigation. And one of the areas Dr. Lowe pointed to today is the fact that schools are soon reopening or ha will reopen tomorrow and that they want to make sure incidents like this are controlled as much as they possibly can because they say that it's important to open schools, but events like this, these variants of concerns, make it difficult. Reporting live, I'm Sean Lee Thong. I'll send it back inside. Thank you, Sean.